So the Cavendish Cup here at Cartwell is my first race on the final day of the season then. Say so three mile two furlong, 0 to 130 handicap. Top one's break free Molly at Surfer. Tina's Apple, Darren Thompson, the Cone, David Robertson, Napoleon's Boots, Stu Gray, Venture to Cognac, Martin Dinamon, Quackers, Kevin Meenahan, Fennin, Nash Kalani, Doug Warren, Black Absolute, Alex Cherry, Phantasmagoria, Obi Wan, Magic Muldoon, Martin Lidham, Nickel Coin, Darren Howes, Coop Deville, Doug Warren, Napoleon Gray, Stu Gray, Black Autumn, Alex Cherry, Johnny Cash, Derek Hinton, and I Catcher, Darren Howes. So so the rain coming down as per normal and away we go in at this rather strange Gartmel track so you make the short run to the first and they all get over the first okay and Johnny Cash is the leader looks to lead this one and break free is trying to break free from the remainder of them in the second and there's a couple of grey or three greys virtually together Napoleon Grey is one of them or Napoleon's boots is another one as they uh the way towards the second of the 17 fences then and Johnny Cash leads by a couple of lengths to break free in second and Nickel Coin that's another grey in third and Coop Deville is close up the two Doug Warren horses pretty much to the four early on as they take the water the early back marker is on Quackers and it's Johnny Cash who's the clear leader to break free in second Napoleon Grey third on the inside of the cone as they take number three to that one Phil and Ash Kalani and Black Autumn, Venture to Cognac and Eye Catcher are after that as they take number four. Uh, Magic Muldoon is the one that's dropped right back to the back. Doesn't appear to be all that interested in racing as they come to the fifth. And we'll skip over that one. Magic Muldoon did his rest to get rid of the jockey there as well. So somehow I don't think that uh, Magic Muldoon is going to be playing much of a part in the finish of this one. And Johnny Cash is going to be hoping so to do with break free. So it's Johnny Cash then uphill towards the next end from break free in second then Napoleon Gray on the inside of Coupe de Ville then the Cone then Phil and Ashkelani and Black Absolute and Black Autumn together I Catcher and Phantasmagoria after that with Tina's Apple and Napoleon's Boots and Nickel Coins lost his place a little bit with Arm Quackers move forward and Venture to Cognac and Magic Muldoon the stable companions are the back two so racing downhill now then past the ambulance facing the right way this time Stu and Johnny Cash is in the lead from break free, of course this is that track where they don't go up the home straight until the end so you go and pay your money and stand in the grandstand and don't get any horses going past you very often so they take the next and we've lost one there, Black Absolute's gone so Black Absolute is a fall up and Johnny Cash and break free are still a good 5 or 6 lengths clear of Fennan Ashkelani as they take this ditch and the rest of them are all over that one ok including Magic Muldoon at the back and Johnny Cash in front break free second then the Doug Warren Pear, Coop de Ville and Fed and Ashkelani together and the Cone, Phantasmagoria, one of the four, five greys has moved next into next position with Napoleon Gray, another grey on his inside then Tina Zappel and Black Autumn on Quackers then Eye Catcher who is another one of the greys then Nickel Coin and Napoleon's boots were both grey as well and they're back to our oh, Venture de Cognac and some way detached Magic Muldoon who's not really very magic today as they take the water and all over that one okay See them there bypassing the stand again. We'll get a quick glimpse as they take this next one. Johnny Cash down on his nose, and so too was Venture to Cognac at the back of the main group. And we're now riding Jockey Cam on. Magic Muldoon is even further behind. You can see them racing down this back straight. We're now we're now on Magic Muldoon. You can see just how far behind he is and how slow he's jumping so I wouldn't think he's going to carry on much longer to be honest the way he's going we've seen four greys and eventually cognac ahead and uh, the leader is a good way ahead, a good way ahead of magic Walden as you can see quite a long way in front Going back to a normal view now, then, and Johnny Cash is the leader still from break free second. The cone has moved through into third now. The field have definitely bunched up a little bit while we were jockey cam in, and the jockey cam bit was the last bit of action that Magic Muldoon will see as he's being pulled up. And that's the end of the season for that one as they come down to the 12th. And over that one, they all go with Johnny Cash. 
I've led all the way so far. Break free is in second. On Quackers is the one who's made really good progress up into third. Then Felon Ashkelani and Black Ultima for that. Then the Kona now ventured a cognac is being pulled up as well. So that's both of mine out of the race. And it doesn't look like it's going to be a particularly good final day of the season for me, judging on that. So Johnny Cash is in the lead then. Break free is second. Then the Kona and Felon Ashkelani. Black Ultima and I'm Quackers in Napoleon Graham. Phantasmagoria. And Coupe de Ville that's lost his place a little bit. Tina's apples after that one. Eyecatcher and Nickel Coin towards the back but there's probably only 10 or 12 lengths first to last now and Johnny Cash is being pushed along with six and a half furlongs to go Johnny Cash in the lead though still from breakthrough remember there's a long running at Cartmel and it's Johnny Cash coming down to the 14th which is the water jump they've got three more fences to take and then they'll swing to the straight and a long running to home Johnny Cash is in the lead from Napoleon Gray and the cone then Black Autumn and breakthrough he's lost his place and made a mistake and that could well be the end of that one I catch is now being pulled up at the back but Johnny Cash is clear over the second last from the cone in second. I'm Quackers is third. Then comes Black Autumn and Napoleon Gray after that one. Then Phantasmagoria. Breakthrough is trying to rally. Fell in Ashkelani. Looks beaten. Then Tina's up and over the final fence they go. And Johnny Cash is still in the lead. But I'm Quackers looks to be cruising. The cone being hard driven between the two. Then Napoleon Gray in fourth. Tina's apples trying to run on. Probably between these I would think. But they've still got a three furlong running to go. And it's the cone in the lead. From I'm Quackers in second. Napoleon Gray is third. Then Tina's apple. Johnny Cash is beaten. Napoleon's boots is trying to run on, so is Phantasmagoria. But it's the Cone and Arm Quackers, and Arm Quackers looks to be going the better of the two at the moment. It's the Cone in the lead, Arm Quackers second, Tina's Apple trying to rally. Then come Napoleon's boots and Napoleon's grey. But it's the Cone and Arm Quackers, and now Arm Quackers comes up on the outside of the Cone. Arm Quackers and the Cone, and Arm Quackers is beginning to get up on the outside. Going down towards the final furlong, and Arm Quackers is now going a good length clear. He's going two lengths clear. Arm Quackers is racing up towards the line, and Arm Quackers is now three. Oh, probably getting on for four lengths clear up towards line. This is going to be a pretty easy win for Arm Quackers and Kevin Meenahan at the line. Then Arm Quackers wins it. The cone is going to be second. Tina's apple third. Then Napoleon boots and Napoleon Graham. Nickel Corn fell in Ashkelani. And Coop de Ville with the last one to finish. But Arm Quackers looked like the winner from a good three furlongs out there for Kevin Meenahan. Takes it nicely. The cone for David Robertson second. Tina's apple, Darren Thompson third. And Stu Gray got fourth and fifth with his Napoleon pair, the boots and the grey.